Hi friends, welcome back. Today I'm doing a Q&A and I'm gonna answer your questions. I asked you guys on Instagram and on YouTube if you had any questions for me and I'm going to answer as many as I can. Um, Ellie and Daddy are playing in the other room while I film this and we're actually gonna have to finish cooking dinner soon so I'm just gonna get through as many as I can before I have to run and try not to get too, too overly chatty, chatty so I can get through a good amount of them and yes I'm snuggling with Ellie's blankie right now <laughs> okay first question is what does the future of your channel look like will you be doing more vlogs uh, the future of my channel so I am always by the way so so open to requests that you guys have so if you have video requests please always leave them in the comments because I'm super open to filming what you guys want to see um, lately I have been doing just more cleaning and organizing because those videos do well on my channel which leads me to believe that that's what a lot of you guys like seeing correct me if I'm wrong um, and I haven't done, been doing many vlogs lately because since we don't put Alia on YouTube it's really hard for me to vlog my daily life without my baby <laughs> because she is my life like I'm a stay-at-home mom and I'm taking care of her all day so really the only time I mean, I can film with her out of frame, but it's really most of my day is spent spending time with her or putting her down for a nap or feeding her. I mean, my day is taking care of her, so it's kind of hard to do vlogs. Um, however, I know a lot of you really love the vlogs, so I don't want to say I'm never going to do vlogs. Um, I'm thinking maybe like once a month is probably realistic, and if you guys really love the vlogs, Leave it down in the comments if you're really missing the vlogs because I will try and make them happen for you guys and maybe just like vlog on the weekend when Trevor's able to help more. Because um, I do, I talk about Elia in the vlogs. It's not like I pretend she doesn't exist. I just don't, we just don't want her on camera. So it gets a little bit tricky. I want to make a point to do like at least once a month, but if you want more than once a month, let me know down below. Um, I don't know if I really answered that question. So yes, I'm gonna do more vlogs. Not as often as I used to, but there will be more vlogs. The future of my channel, I think I am gonna keep going with this weekly cleaning video for a little bit while longer, but um, I don't know you guys, I've been kind of in a tough spot lately, like just not knowing what to film. So please, please leave me suggestions. I'm so open. I do love to film music videos for you guys every now and then. I love doing the Organize with M's, the cleaning videos, but I don't want that to get too redundant because I feel like me cleaning our little apartment <laughs> is, uh, it can probably get pretty redundant. So if you have ideas, let me know. I'm all ears. How old were you when you started singing? So if you guys don't know, I am a singer-songwriter and um, I share music on here sometimes. So. I was, I mean, I started singing at a very young age because I, my dad plays guitar and writes songs. And so I grew up around that. I grew up in a musical household and, um, you know, as like a little girl, I was singing in church with my dad and my sister. So I was really young when I started singing, but when I started pursuing music, I was in college. Let's backtrack a little bit. Um, I took piano lessons growing up. And it wasn't until my senior year in high school that I wrote my first song and I wrote that on the piano. I was super timid and awkward and I hadn't like found my voice yet, I don't think. Um, I felt like a bronzer spot, I think. <laughs> anyway, uh, my voice was totally different. You guys probably wouldn't recognize it. But then I went to college and my freshman year of college, I brought my dad's guitar with me, one of my dad's guitars, and I taught myself how to play the guitar. And it was then when I really started songwriting and um, kind of thought about pursuing that as a career. And I released an album, my, when was it? I was out of college, was I out of college? Yeah, it was 2000, well, it was the year I graduated college. 2013, I released um, an album and I self-released it. And it was a really amazing experience. So I'm not still actively like pursuing <laughs> music, I would say, but I do still play guitar all the time and I love to sing and play to Elia. And it's been a while since I've written a song, to be honest, but um, I love music. And yes, I started singing really young. Wow, that took me a long time. I answered more than you asked, so. 
There you go. This is a good question. What has been the most unexpected part of becoming a mother and has your relationship changed now that you've all transitioned into the roles of being parents? On another note, what's your favorite way to practice self-care and when you need a break? Love that question. Okay, so first part of that question is what has been the most unexpected part of becoming a mother? Um, I was not prepared, and this sounds weird, but I was not prepared for how much I would love that little girl. It was, it's beyond my wildest dreams. You know you're gonna love your kid, like you just know, but until you actually have your child, it's like the most overwhelming thing. I was not prepared, and it's, it's such a gift <laughs> to love someone that much. Um, has your relationship changed now that you've transitioned the roles of being parents? Yes, it has. Um, it's, it, that, actually that was something really unexpected too. You're dealing with being sleep deprived and trying to figure out how to keep this little human alive together while you're sleep deprived and it, it's, it's a lot and it's overwhelming and it's a huge change and it goes from just being the two of you and being able to do whatever you want whenever you want to having this little baby who depends on you and trying to um, find a new normal and routine and on top of that when Elliot was born we moved shortly after which so packing up and moving and trying to find routine and all of that was extra tricky but I think how our relationship change like I don't know I, I'm gonna be honest with you guys in the beginning like we would bicker more than we would and we had to take a step back and be like okay this is why are we why are we being grumpy at each other why are we arguing and we we had to like after a while take a step back and be like okay it's not okay for us to be snippy with each other all the time um, and I, it wasn't all the time, but in the beginning it was hard and you're figuring things out and you're sleep deprived and it just took some time for the adjustment and, um, you just need to give each other a lot of grace because you're both figuring it out and you got to be a team and be on the same page and have a lot of grace for each other. Neither of you are going to be perfect at being a parent. I don't know, for me, I felt like I had a very specific way of how I wanted to do things and I guess I kind of like that in general. And so I found that I had to take a step back and be sometimes like, no, Trevor is Elliot's dad. He's 50%, you know, like he's as much of a parent as I am. And his ideas and his way of doing things and his way of interacting with her and all of that is so valid and so wonderful. And sometimes I had to take a step back and be like, okay, I, she's, I'm the mom, but I'm not her only parent. And um, he needs to have input. So I don't know. It's just like, it's a lot of figuring things out and just give each other a lot of grace because it's a big transition for everybody. But you will just... Just hang in there because you'll find your groove and we've definitely found our groove especially now that we are like moved in and settled and I think that was adding a lot of extra stress was just not having a routine and it took us so long to get unpacked and there's just a lot going on in our life when we moved anyway again a very long answer to that question um, the third part of that question is what's your favorite way to practice self-care when you be when you need a break guys I have never appreciated a hot shower as much as I do now that I'm a mother. After Trev's done with work, he will usually take over with Elia and um, he does bedtime routines. So usually after dinner, he'll like do the bath if she needs a bath that night and play for a little bit, read books, all that before I, act, I like actually put her to bed because I nurse her to sleep. So when he's doing all that, I will usually sneak away and go hop in the shower and just take a long shower and wash my hair and put all my hair product in afterwards and do my self tan and lotion and just like really take time with my skincare. That is honestly my favorite way to practice self care is just like a long shower and doing all the things to try and take care of myself. Another way that I practice self care during the day actually is when Elia goes down for her first nap. It's usually a shorter nap, but I run into the room and my closet doors are mirrors so I sit down in front of my closet door, grab my coffee, have the baby monitor and I'll usually turn on like a YouTube video or something that I want to watch and I will just take my time on my makeup and 
do my makeup and make myself feel pretty. I've had like the craziest hormonal, I think it's hormonal acne. I've never had an issue and you can't tell because I, I piled on the makeup, but my skin has been breaking out so bad. The postpartum hair regrowth has been so bad. So I find I have a better day if I make myself feel pretty. And for me, that is taking some time while Ellie is napping and doing my makeup. Okay, what's your favorite season? Summer, I am a summer girl all the way through and through. Summer, summer. How'd you and your husband meet? Was it love at first sight? So, Trevor and I met. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad he's not here to interject into this story because if he was telling the story, he would tell you that I like um, slid into his DMs or whatever you want to call it. But no, that's not, I mean, that's kind of what happened, but it wasn't because I was interested in him. So Trevor and I went to the same college and we actually didn't meet until our senior year, but we had a lot of the same friends. Um, we had the same major and we were both into music and he actually ran the program on our campus that would, or he was the person who would hire like the bands to come to campus, at the entertainment for the kids, for the college students. So um, one thing that he did in addition to booking bands was he did, he put together like open mics on campus and I was playing open mics in college because I was writing my own music and starting to like get into music, get into performing, bu building my confidence a little bit as an artist. And I went to one of the open mics that he put on and I knew who he was because like I said, we were in the same major and we had a lot of the same friends. So during the intermission of the open mic, he played a song on the acoustic guitar and sang. And I remember I actually uh, looked at my friend Abby who was sitting next to me and this is funny, this is totally out of character for me to say. In fact, I had a boyfriend at the time, but I looked at her and I was like, I just fell in love. And like jokingly, but he had such a beautiful voice and played that guitar so beautifully. And so just joking. But, and then one day, I can't believe I'm telling you guys this story. So <laughs> one day it was summer. And again, I did something that was very, very out of character for me. And I was bored on Facebook and I saw he was online and, um, I messaged him and asked him if he wanted to like write music or collaborate together. Again, I was not attracted, interested, like I was not thinking that at all. It was literally, I was just trying to collaborate with other musicians on campus and write with other people. And again, Trevor, if he was here, he'd be like, yeah, you wanted to collaborate. <laughs> he'd be making so, but that's not how it went. Um, so we decided to meet at a coffee shop and um, talk about music. So we met on one summer day. It was actually August, uh, the the year before our senior year of college, the summer before our senior year of college, and we were both living on campus that summer. Neither of us had gone home, so we met at a coffee shop where we were going to sit outside. Um, and I didn't see him or really know if I saw him because again, we had only seen each other like a few times. We didn't really know each other. We were meeting for the first time. So I went in and ordered my drink and ordered a smoothie, which who orders a smoothie at a coffee shop? And I came out and found Trevor holding a smoothie too, uh, which is weird. And then I did something else out of character and I hugged a complete stranger because I had never actually met Trevor in real life, but I... I hugged him, <laughs> said hello, and it was weird. So anyway, we ended up talking music, and um, that week we just hit it off to like, I remember texting him and being like, can we be best friends, Trevor? Like, he was just so interesting and fun to talk to, and that week, like, um, we would just talk and talk and talk for hours and hours. I remember sitting out on my front porch, and we ended up talking on my front porch until like three in the morning. So he was just one of those people that was super interesting and I just wanted to talk to him and get to know him. But it wasn't until October that we finally decided to date. That was again a very long story, but no, it was not love at first sight. I kind of fought my feelings for him for a long time once I did develop feelings because I was gonna be moving to California that like after that year of college and I was not trying to have a boyfriend when I was about to move out of the state, but 
when you're not trying to have a boyfriend, that's when you meet your husband. When are you gonna show Elia on YouTube? Sadly, never. <laughs> uh, I guess I should never say never, but we just, before I was even pregnant with Elia, we talked about with me having a YouTube that when we have kids, we would not put them on the internet. I put her on Instagram, but we weren't gonna put her on YouTube, so. Sorry. I know some of you guys are super bummed about that. Okay. Yeah. What is your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday is Christmas and I'm especially excited for Christmas now that I have Elia and it can be magical again for me while I'm making it magical for her. I'm just, I'm so excited. I just remember as a kid the wonder and the magic of Christmas and I can't wait to like for Elliot to experience that. How has life been for you? Oh, and do you plan on buying a home anytime soon? Uh, life has been, I guess it's hard to get one answer on how it's been, um, as I'm sure many of you are feeling during this time of going through a global pandemic. It's been, there's good days, there's bad days. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been good and bad. <laughs> you know, like there's some hard days, there's, hard things, but overall, I am so, so blessed. I'm so blessed that um, I have my beautiful family, that I have a safe home to live in, that we've all been healthy, my whole family's been healthy, and that Trevor is still employed through all of this. He's been able to work from home. Like, there's just so many things to be grateful for and thankful for, and I know so many people are having such a hard time and going through so many trials and tribulations um, with this. I mean, we, our life has not changed much besides Trevor working at home and us not being able to go out or see friends and family. Like, I'm just very grateful that that is pretty much the, the, the biggest problem for us because I know that for so many other people that is not, that like they wish they could just have that as their problem during all of this. So, um, I'm grateful. I try to stay in that place of gratitude, but it is really hard some days and yeah, just being real with you guys. So, and are we planning on buying a home anytime soon? We want to. We would love nothing more than to go out this weekend, go house hunting. However, it has always been our goal to buy, not buy a house until we're debt free and we have an emergency fund in place. We've been following the Dave Ramsey method. So, that is our goal ultimately. We still have a little while before we are going to have no student loans. So that's where we're at. I don't think it's gonna be any time very soon, but within the next couple years, yes. Um, hopefully sooner. Hopefully YouTube will just take off and pay off all of our debt. <laughs> just kidding. What's your favorite makeup brand? My, my sister-in-law asked me this question and I had just talked to her um, earlier that day raving about my new favorite makeup. So I think she's just, um, wants me to talk about it a little bit, but you guys, I have discovered, I, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw me talk about this, but by the way, this is not sponsored. I bought all this makeup by myself, but I'm actually thinking about selling this makeup because I love it so much. It's called Mascara Beauty, and actually, I should show you guys my palette really fast. Okay, so random videos had come up on Instagram about this, about people like showing how to apply this type of makeup, and I was like, what is this? It's like everything in one compact, this is so cool. And I've been watching these videos of like some people who um, I guess sell mascara beauty and they like post videos on Instagram of them doing their makeup and I've been so intrigued by it. I've been watching videos for like the past year or two on it and I wanted to try it so bad. And so for my birthday present this year, Trevor, he ordered me Lululemon leggings for my birthday and I loved them, they were too big, so I was gonna to have to return them and get a different size. And then I got to thinking about it, and I was like, actually, Trev, what I want for my birthday is I really wanna start get started with Mascara Beauty, and like, it would be a little bit of investment to get all the stuff I wanted to start out. So I decided to use the return money from Lulu to get a palette built, you guys. I am so obsessed. I was hesitant to do this because it's all cream, so, if I didn't like it or if it didn't agree with my skin, I was nervous about investing in it, which really it's not that expensive, you guys. It's like drugstore prices, pretty much. Um, but they have a really great return policy, so I was like, I'll try it. 
and I have become obsessed. So when you first make, when you order um, on Mascara Beauty, like if you order, order a certain amount of tins, you get a free compact. So the compact that I had was like probably half the size and it had two layers to it. I've become so obsessed. Like literally a week later, I got on there and I ordered a triple decker because I knew I would want room to grow. Um, so I don't, you know, it's not all filled, but so it's all cream besides the eyeshadow and your foundation is your highlight and your contour. So like these are your highlight or like your foundation colors. So I do some like color correcting and brightening and then your contour color. This is my bronzer. These are my lip and cheek colors. Your cheek colors can be your lip colors. I use my contour and my eyebrows. Um, and then my eye, these are the eyeshadows that I got. They're so gorgeous and they're amazing. And then I also got the brushes from Mascara Beauty that are incredible and they work so well with cream. I would love to show you guys this makeup because I'm so excited about it. And I talked about how like I love doing for my self care daily, like just taking time with my makeup. This can be done in five minutes. It's super quick, but I've been just having so much fun with it that I love like sitting down and taking my time. Um, it was really appealing to me as a mom just to simplify and have everything in one little compact. Like, I just think about traveling with this thing, how easy it's going to be. I love, so they're magnetic. So I picked out all these colors. Well, actually, you get color matched by an artist. So she helped me, and then I also ordered some other fun things. But all of these um, little tins come out. And the they're like $14 for the highlight and contour a piece and lip and cheeks I think are around 14 eyeshadow like around 12 I can't remember exactly but it's not crazy expensive a teeny tiny bit of cream goes a long way and anyway I'm gonna stop blabbing about makeup in case you do not care at all but if you guys are interested in me doing a mascara beauty makeup tutorial because I would love to show you uh, leave it down in the comments anyway I've been having so much fun. I love this. I'm never going back. This is the only makeup I'm ever going to use ever, ever in my life. Okay, and now for the number one asked question, when are you going to try for baby number two? <laughs> A lot of you guys wanted to know this. So, uh, I'm not going to lie, you guys. I do have baby fever. Elia is growing up way too fast, and I just, I love, I want all the babies. However, I think we are going to wait a little while because um, I just, I want Elliot to be the baby for a little longer. You know what I mean? Like I want her to be the only one. And I know by the time I had another baby, she would be older, but I still think of like a two year old as a baby. You know, I want to just enjoy that stage with her a little bit longer. I don't know. Maybe my baby fever will get the best of me sooner than I think, but I could see us waiting until Ellie is like two or three maybe, but who knows, it could be sooner, never say never. Also, it does give me some anxiety thinking about being pregnant while during like the pandemic and when everything is still so uncertain. Um, so I think I would prefer for things to like settle down and the world to figure some stuff out before I go through pregnancy. Again, okay, I hope that answer suffices. <laughs> what has been the best and the worst day of your life and why? So the best day of my life, um, it was our wedding and then when Ellie was born, that took the cake because it was just indescribable, the most magical day. I wish I could relive it over and over and over for obvious reasons that that's the best day of my life. Um, the worst day of my life, the worst day of my life, um, I guess just to respect this person's privacy, I will not go into detail, but the worst day of my life was finding out um, a loved one was sick. Beach or mountains? Beach, 100%. I feel like Trevor and I are gonna retire like on the beach in Florida someday. Beach, beach all the way. Summer girl, beach, that's my happy place. Favorite place to get Elia's clothes. So I actually haven't had to buy Elia too many clothes because my mother-in-law is like the shopping queen, consignment sale queen, 
like Facebook yard sales, she has found so many amazing, basically brand new clothes for Elia and she has just blessed us so much and gotten pretty much Elia through her first year of life, I'm not gonna lie. But the few things that I have picked up um, have been from Target, um, but honestly some of my favorite things that I found have been off of Amazon and I will try and link that in the description box for you guys. But one brand that I really do love that Elia like has in her clothes that my mother-in-law got her is Old Navy. I want to pick her out some things for summer from Old Navy and I, Old Navy is like my favorite pay, place to get my clothes too, but they have such cute stuff and the quality is really good. So I'm definitely going to be picking her up some summer stuff. Yeah, that's fine. I got a scarf in there because I got a little chicken out of my burner. Okay, I'm just going to do a couple more questions because it's about time to get going with dinner. So. Um, how many kids do you want? The limit does not exist. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, we don't really know. We At least two, maybe more. Um, I kind of want more than two probably, but I feel like we've just kind of talked about hopefully we'll know when we feel like our family is complete. So we don't have a specific number in mind. Go to Starbucks order. So I love like the cold brew with the cold foam that you see all the vloggers drinking but it's like really complicated to order it sometimes I feel like they mess it up a lot so my go-to order what I tend to get a lot is a grande iced coffee no 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 <laughs> see I don't even know what my own order is a... so right. it's okay so my go -to, so my go-to order that no, you're not. A grande iced latte with two pumps of white mocha. No classic. Right? Is that what I get, babe? The grande basic white girl? What other name? This is the last question I'm going to do. What other names did you consider before you picked Elia? Um, we had our boy name picked out, and honestly, I thought Elia was a boy. <laughs> she surprised me. So we didn't have any girl names picked out. So the, we only considered one other girl name before we thought of Elia, and that was Sophie. Um, so that was really the only one we thought of. And then we have our, should I just tell them our boy's name? Or should that be a surprise? No, because I don't want them, I don't want the people taking it. <laughs> okay. So boy name is still a secret because what if we have a boy? Hi, Ellie. Okay. Somebody's calling for me. Thank you so much to everyone who asked a question. I'm so sorry if I didn't get to your question. Um, thanks for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button if you're new and leave down in the comments what kind of videos you guys wanna see. Seriously, I'm like, just, I don't even know what to film these days. So <laughs> any input is much appreciated. Thank you for all your support. I love you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. We're going under. There's nothing we can do. The final hour before we let it go to rest It's such a heartbeat